Do you want to know everything there is to know about Medical Mutual's 1750 plan? Well, hey, today's your lucky day because that's exactly what we're going to do. So stick around. How's it going, everybody? I'm Joey Jingoma with Jingoma Insurance. And right now we're going to go line by line through Medical Mutual's newest plan. And it's a pretty good one. I mean, I think you're going to maybe like it if you need it. We'll find out. It's the either market or just the straight 1750 plan. The market comes into play if you're buying it with subsidy, but that's not really much of an issue, but they just put the market in front of it to distinguish if you're getting subsidy from the federal government or not, or essentially buying through healthcare.gov or not. But again, not that big of a deal, just as long as you're aware of it, there really isn't much difference otherwise. So you'll notice starting out right at the top here, we've got kind of three columns. We have benefit, we have in-network, and we have non-network. And the benefit is going to tell us what is it actually covered or, you know, the type of you know, thing that we're looking at, the service that we're looking to get, the amount of money that's associated with it. Then we have in-network and out-of-network. In-network is going to be the thing that you're going to want to pay attention to almost every single time. I'm serious. Every single time you're going to want to pay attention to that and you want to be in the in-network column like always. But if you find yourself in the non-network column, you'll notice a lot bigger numbers to deal with. So we'll, we'll cover them here, but again, just stay in network. So starting out right at the top there, we have deductible. And in this case, it's going to be 1,750 for a single person. So if you're by yourself, that's all your deductible is going to be. If you have a family, two or more people, that's what a family is. $3,500 is going to be a family. And you're essentially going to have two $1,750 deductibles to share between your family. So if only one person is getting the medical treatment, then they're only going to pay $1,750 before they meet that deductible. You'll notice things get a little higher and more interesting on the non-network side as it jumps to 5,250 and 10,500. Now, because this plan has coinsurance and it is a 75-25 split, you're gonna have an out-of-pocket max beyond the deductibles. This out-of-pocket max is going to be, for a single person, $6,850, or for a family, $13,700. So those numbers get a little more interesting even though you do have a slightly lower deductible. And you're going to achieve those numbers. You're going to get there by paying 25% of the remaining bills after that deductible. So if you have a $1,750 deductible, that means after that amount of money has been paid, then you're going to start paying 25% of any bills that you have after that. You're going to do that until you hit the out-of-pocket maximum. Very important. Now, I did jump over the accumulation method. I just glossed right over, but I already kind of mentioned accumulation method. You're going to see it says embedded. And essentially what that means is, is that you're going to have, again, those two deductibles per family. If it were a aggregate is what you might see on some plans, that's a total family deductible. So you're not going to be doing any splitting. Anybody in the family is going to go to the, the family out of pocket max. So it would be 3,500 instead of the 1,750 and the overall annual benefit period maximum is unlimited. So basically it's just not going to run out, you know, $200,000 worth of you know, medical treatment that's covered not a problem. It'll be taken care of. Assuming you pay your you know, deductible and out-of-pocket max, it's going to be covered for you. And you'll notice here, dependent age is up to age 26. This is one change that Medical Mutual and other insurance companies have made this year as Ohio passed legislation that, from what I've been told, essentially gave the power back to the insurance companies to, de to determine whether or not they wanted to keep it at 28, which was Ohio's previous limit for you know, people, you know, dependents to be on your policy, or to roll back to the federal mandate of 26. Medical Mutual and other companies have rolled back to the 26, and that's something that is brand new this year. You'll see benefit period max is January 1st to December 31st. That means that regardless of when you buy your plan, the deductible and everything is going to reset come the first of the year. So very important to keep in, in mind, you know, if and when you're making the jump and, and when you're making the decision, because you don't want to pick up a deductible for only two months and then have to, you know, roll over to a new one, you know, starting the first of the year. So again, it's not always an issue, but it's something that you're going to want to be aware of that, you know, even if you bought a plan in November, uh, you would still have two months of this, you know, these deductibles and out-of-pocket limits that you could potentially hit and then turn around, you know, a month or two later and then have to pay them again. Very important to keep in, keep in mind. And now here, the most interesting and possibly controversial benefit of the policy is the doctor's office, uh, you know, <laughs> coverage for the physician services, if you will, their physician and office services is officially how they have it labeled. Uh, but for a primary care physician, your office visit, you're going to have a $30 copay comma 25% after benefit. 
That's a little confusing and it, you might not pick up on it right away. So let me break it down for you. So this is a unlimited copay. That's a fixed dollar amount. So that's not the total end cost for you. So if we're taking an example of a office visit for a primary doctor, you know, traditionally they're going to bill without insurance, a hundred dollars. Let's say medical mutual negotiates that down to maybe $50. So instead of paying the $50, you're going to subtract 30 from that. That's going to leave you with the remaining $20 left on that bill. That $20 is then going to be paid for at 25%. So you're going to pay 25% of $20 or $5. And then, you know, essentially that $60 office visit is now $35. So that's what that copay is going to look like for you. Same thing for the specialist in urgent care. It's just going to subtract 60 from that discounted rate. And then you're going to pay 25% on what's left from the bill. So you're still going to be a lot better off than what it would be if you're paying for the visit, you know, without a copay, it's just a little more complicated to actually figure out what you're going to spend and a little more work. So it's very important that you know exactly how that operates. And now we're going to slip into the preventative services uh, category. And you'll notice the first line here is the preventative services covered under the PPACA or the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act or the Affordable Care Act, ACA, Healthcare Reform, Obamacare. It's all exactly the same thing. You get the idea. But it says 0%, which means you're not going to have to pay anything for those visits if you're getting them taken care of in network. Very important. Then you also notice there's some more preventative services here listed that are going to be covered. You're just going to have to pay to your deductible first, and then you're going to pay the coinsurance. And then once you've satisfied the deductible and the coinsurance, you've paid to those limits, then it's going to be taken care of at no more cost to you. So you notice there is pediatric vision eye exam up to age 19. That's going to fall into the 0% or free category as well. And then again, routine physical exams are broken out on their own, um, which is a highlight of the preventative benefit. And then you also have the well child office visits up to age 21, again, free of charge. And let's move down into the outpatient services. You're going to see most of this stuff with the, with a few exceptions here is going to be 25% after deductible, meaning you're going to pay that 1750 or 3,500, and then you're going to start paying 25% of the remaining bills. So that's allergy testing, cardiac rehabilitation. Also notice that when things are in parentheses, you're going to get that amount of visits per year benefit period more specifically. So in this case, you have 36 visits from January 1st to December 31st for the cardiac rehabilitation. Go see the chiropractor once a month, 12 visits per benefit period. Uh, again, uh, if you bought the plan in November, you're going to have these 12 and 36 visits until the end of December. But again, January 1st resets. So something to keep in mind. So you got diagnostic lab, diagnostic endoscopic services. So colonoscopies, all that good stuff. Now here's where things are going to get changed up a little bit. The emergency use of the emergency room, you're going to have a $300 copay. That's going to work exactly like the copays for the doctor's visit. Also emergency physician and ancillary services is going to be 25% after the deductible in network and out of network, just like emergency use of the emergency room. Or it's very important to note that non-emergency use of the emergency room is not covered at all, period. You're going to pay the full boat. It's not going to go to your deductible. The medical mutual is not going to discount it for you. So you're not going to want to go to the emergency room for that sinus infection. Probably not going to be a good idea for you financially. You also notice mental health and substance abuse office visits. You're going to have, again, that same $30 copay and 25% coinsurance that, that we've experienced. So that's a little added bonus that usually you don't see that tons on a lot of plans. So that's a nice little add there. And then again, occupational physical therapy, 40 visits a year, pulmonary therapy, 20 visits a year, speech therapy and habilitation, 20 visits per benefit period. And surgery is 25%. There, it's all 25% after the deductible. So we've kind of already you know, figured out exactly how that's going to work. Let's go down to page two here. And now we're in the inpatient services. So we had, again, we are doing outpatient, now inpatient. So inpatient, meaning if you're in the hospital, in the actual facility, you're admitted. Outpatient, again, if you're at a freestanding facility or it's nothing that you have to be admitted for, that's what you're looking at. And again, you have maternity coverage, mental health and substance abuse, physical rehabilitation, 60 uh, days per benefit period, semi-private room and board, skilled nursing facility, 90 days per benefit period, and surgery, all 25% after the deductible. So those are going to cover a wide range of services that you could find yourself getting in the hospital. And then next we have the additional services, which again is all 25% after the deductible. So ambulance, durable medical equipment, 
home health services, 100 visits per benefit period, hospice, uh, any like CT MRI scans, organ transplants, you're going to get uh, for an unrelated donor search, they're going to give you 30 grand to find that person, uh, transportation, meals and lodging for that person, 10,000 per transplant, and then private duty nursing, 90 days per benefit period, all again, pay to the deductible, 25% after, and then 100% after that out of pocket limit. And finally, wrapping up with none other than a prescription copay for your medications. So in this case, you're going to have copays for generic and preferred brand names. That's kind of about it. Uh, how it's going to work, you're going to have two options, retail and mail order. Retail for a 30-day supply for a generic, $30 copay. For a mail order, 90-day copay for a 90-day supply. Preferred brand name, $60 copay for a 30-day retail supply and $180 copay for up to a 90-day supply. Things get a little dicey here. Once you get into the non-preferred drugs and the specialty high cost, you're basically going to split those 50-50, uh, whether it's retail or mail order, it's just a matter of what the max per medication is going to be. For a mail order, for, uh, for a retail, it's going to be $350 per, per medication is the max, or for the mail order, $1,050 a max. So you're gonna pay half up to those limits. And then specialty high cost drug, Again, it's basically the same, 50% of a $350 max per script for a 30-day supply, so they're not even giving you an option for a mail order on the specialty drugs. So there you go, that's about it. That's everything that you need to know about Medical Mutual's 1750 or Market 1750 plan, line by line, and hopefully now you have a better understanding of this plan is going to actually make sense for you. However, if you're not quite sure if you need this, if you need this level of coverage and you want to make sure that you are absolutely positive that this is the most financially logical plan for yourself, well, go ahead and click right here on my face. Let's put it to the test and see if this is something that's going to actually need with your health insurance and your medical treatment in the coming year. So again, click right here on my face to do that. It's a pretty simple process to figure that out. Or there is a link below in the video's description if you don't want to click on my face for whatever reason. I understand, maybe. But yeah, go ahead and do that and let's get started. So of course, I do appreciate you for taking the time to watch this video. It does mean a lot to me. And as always, I am Joey Jingola with Jingola Insurance. Take it easy, everybody.